Imagine a soundbar. An incredible soundbar. A soundbar unlike anything before it. Alexa, turn on soundbar display. Imagine a soundbar. With sound so clear and bass so deep. With stereo sound separation as wide as you want it. Imagine a soundbar. Which you can customize for your needs. Do you want mono? Stereo? Or a full surround system? Do you want a subwoofer, if so built-in or external? Do you want wired or wireless speakers? Imagine a soundbar. Which you can customize for looks. Do you want it to match the look of your TV? Do you want it to look unique? Or do you want it to look just like a basic soundbar? Imagine a soundbar. Which you can customize for your budget. Do you want expensive or inexpensive speakers? Do you want single, dual, triple or more speakers? Do you want front, up or down firing speakers? Do you want ported or sealed speakers? Do you want feature rich Dolby Atmos surround sound? Or an inexpensive mono or stereo decoder? Do you want a premium or basic amplifier? Or maybe an old school vacuum tube amplifier? Imagine a soundbar that is created like no other that you can 3D print or have someone print for you that you can assemble yourself that you can easily repair reducing costs that is held together with just four screws that is modular and can expand or contract to your needs that is 99% recyclable that is 100% reusable that is much better for the environment Imagine a soundbar that is hackable for your custom needs. Maybe build in your Wii, Wii U sensor bar. Build in game console cameras. Build in VR trackers. Customize for audio and video parts. Install motion sensors. Hide a security camera. Imagine a soundbar with microphones built into each speaker for the perfect automatic sound setup that can record surround sound and not just play it that can listen to you imagine a soundbar that can give you a hearing test and help veterans and those with hearing loss hear the best sound possible audio they would normally miss Imagine a soundbar that can give visual feedback on full-color LED displays with an advanced audio spectrum analyzer that can display lyrics to your favorite songs that can display captions to TV and movies that can display incoming phone call information that can display weather information that can display warnings of pending disaster. That allows you to play games. That allows you to sing to karaoke. That allows veterans and people with hearing loss to visualize the sound they struggle to hear. Imagine a soundbar with customizable display options that can use full color LED displays. That can go retro and use VU and or Nixie tube meters. Inexpensive graphic stickers. Maybe e-ink, OLED, or LCD displays. Or any other display. Maybe, you do not want to use any display at all. Imagine a soundbar. With an advanced power supply. That can power virtually anything that can power devices from foreign countries. 
maybe have a built-in backup power supply that can precisely monitor power usage that can protect your valuable electronics. Imagine a soundbar with advanced profiles allowing custom sound setup for individual users allowing custom profiles for individual songs allowing custom profiles for each connected device imagine a soundbar with an advanced media bus and modular base to which you can connect or adapt to virtually anything whilst only powering the devices you need to use the following gives an idea of what could be used. Analog audio adapters, mono, stereo, RFAC3, 5.1, 7.1, 9.1 and on. Digital audio adapters, optical, coaxial and on. Audio decoder, mono, stereo, 5.1, Atmos, DTS, DTSX and on. Audio amplifier, mono, stereo, surround. Multi room and on. Microphone amplifier for guitar and karaoke. MIDI ports. Roland MT32 synthesis. Bluetooth audio. Lossless high definition audio. Lossless ultra high definition video. AM FM, HD, satellite radio. Text to speech, like you are listening to now. SKAA. For full home or office, long range high quality wireless speakers. Analog Video Adapters, RF, Composite, S-Video, Sync on Green, RGB, RGBI, SCART, CGA, MDA, HGC, EGA, VGA, Component, and on. Digital Video Adapters, DVI, SDI, HDMI, DisplayPort and on. Hardware Video Decoders. TV Input, Over Air, Cable, Satellite Tuners. Video Scalers. Scanline Doublers. Video Capture Cards Hardware Video Filter, to improve quality of old VHS and Laserdisc movies Video, Security Cameras Media Adapters, SD, Compact Flash, Memory Stick, IDE, SATA, and ON US UK, European, Asian, Global Power Sockets Low Power DC Adapters for Modern Electronics, or Retro Devices FPGA Computer or Game Systems Retro computer systems like the Commander X16. High power Android systems. Low power inexpensive Raspberry Pi adapters. PC like computer parts. Network systems, Ethernet, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and on. Modems, dial up, cable, wireless, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Home automation systems. Weather station controllers. AI systems, such as Alexa. Cortana, Google or maybe even Siri. Game controllers, and input devices. Arcade, JAMA adapters. Wireless chargers. Cell phone docks. NFC sensors. Home phone adapters. Custom adapters, which provide power, the best video and audio inputs for individual game consoles, Laserdisc and VHS players, computers, and a whole lot more. Example. UK plug and SCART socket or US plug with composite video and AC3 RF. Any combination of power, audio and video can be made to work in a single adapter. Imagine a soundbar. Imagine a universal soundbar that is the heart of your home. The following is a demonstration of the universal soundbar. At 66 and 1 half inches long, it may be the world's longest sound bar too. Specifications, dimensions, 66 and a half inches long, 5 inches high by 5 inches deep. Weight, sound bar, 20 pounds. System audio, 5.1, Dolby and DTS full surround sound. Sound bar speakers, 3 times 4 inch, Dayton Audio RS100-8, 8 ohm, 60 watts each. System response. 25 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Audio input, optical, coaxial, RCA, 3.5 mm, USB and Bluetooth. Modular bays, 18 of which are large enough for a UK plug socket. Bay card slots, each bay can have two times full card slots, 
36 total on this universal media bar. Displays, 2 times PU meters. 2. RGB, LED panels of 32 times 8 pixels, set up as 64 times 8 pixels. LED controller, SP107E. LED PSU. 5 volts, 50 watts. LED system uses less than 4 watts. Here are some of the renders, of the 3D models used for this project. The first render is of the basic parts of the universal soundbar. Left, center, and right speakers, and the two trusses connecting the speakers. At the front you can see the recessed area for display options. This render shows the back of the soundbar, and its 18 base slots to which you could connect a whole lot of devices. Here, as in this demo unit, the center section houses the center speaker, power supply, and decoder slash amplifier board. A 5x5 five five inch profile was used as this is how far most TVs stick out from a wall when hung, and the bay overhang allows sockets and cables to hide out of the way. Note the soundbar is now 9 inches longer as my TV screen cracked and the new TV is much larger. Extending the soundbar was easily done by adding two additional four and a half inch truss sections. Here you can see a more detailed front render, now at the full length of 66 and a half inches long, and with the speakers installed. In this close up render, you can see the center section with speaker, VU meters, neodymium magnets, and LED light guides for the remote control function. Note the cutouts for the VU meters. This was done to allow blank plates to be used should I not want to use the meters, and so I could experiment with the ported speaker design. This render shows the front grille frame, which is held in place with just magnets. 
The front grille is now in place in this render, and showing the stereo VU meters. Other than the top of the soundbar, this image shows all the parts used for the soundbar case, all of which were 3D printed in Eson PLA+. The gaskets and feet were printed in TPU. Note the four screws which hold the soundbar together at the bottom. Here you can see the speaker boxes and ends, internally wrapped in half-inch acoustic sound dampening foam. I chose to use a sealed speaker design, as I wanted a cleaner sound, so I added polyfill to each enclosure. Then I installed the VU meters, top buttons, IR lights and wiring. These next 10 photos show most of the assembly. This was done by adding the four screws through the center section, then adding a gasket and next section and so on. These are the TPU feet. They were designed solid, but printed with 20% infill to make them a little spongy. Here you can see the soundbar mostly assembled, with the front speaker grill and cloth hiding one of the LED panels. At the top you can see an opening for each bay. The top lid slot into the front of the soundbar, then clip into the back. Note that I was told the LED controller was stereo when in fact it is mono, adding to this, lows start on the left, with highs moving right up to 5 kHz, they then start heading back to the left, giving a strange non-linear look. As I wanted the soundbar to match the design of the TV, I had no clearance at the end for the large nuts. I decided to recess the nuts, however as this left no room to tighten them, I decided to use castle nuts to hold the ends on, which in turn holds the soundbar together in compression. I created my own tool for this, a castle key, which works like a wrench, and can be used over any length of threaded rod. Remember this soundbar being modular, well here you can see some of the different speakers I tried with the center section. This one is a 140 watt bass reflex 5.1 soundbar and is only 20 inches long. This one is a basic sealed speaker system of 120 watts and 20 inches long, still being a full 5.1 surround sound system. Another version I tried used the Dayton Audio RS100-8 speakers, for a 20 inch long, 180 watt, just the soundbar, 5.1 system. Thank you for watching this video, and please visit www.universalsoundbar.com, especially if you have experience in areas that would help this project. Please visit www.readspeaker.com for more information on the voices used in this video.